Okay, a car of mass uh, 3,000 kilogram traveling with a velocity. Okay, uh, traveling with a velocity of 90 km per hour. Uh, this is not SI unit. Collides with a stationary car of mass 2,000 kg. After the collision, the two cars move with the same velocity. Oh, this is a stick together, perfectly inelastic. Uh, what is the uh, velocity V? Okay. Uh, this is uh, after the collision, they move with the same velocity. And then also calculate the impulse of the first car. Okay, uh, first of all, okay, let us, uh, first of all, uh, extract information. Okay, extract the information. Uh, also, we can draw a picture. Maybe you can just draw a picture to uh, represent the situation. Okay, so we have uh, two cars. Okay, maybe I just use a block. Yeah, just use a uh, car, a block, yeah, to represent the car. Okay, now you have a uh, uh, two cars right uh, this first car and the second car okay you have two cars okay uh, we put this uh, okay we can just label this is a car one this is car two all right uh, this uh, this should be the mass one uh, this is the initial velocity one uh, and then uh, this oh stationary that means uh, u2 is zero Okay, uh, the, this stationary car initial velocity is zero. Okay, uh, this is a uh, mass two. Uh, this mass two. Okay, uh, afterward they after collision they move with the same velocity. Uh, so okay, maybe we just draw. Um, yeah, yeah, just draw like that. Okay, um, after that. Uh, okay, I just. Uh, this is uh, after collision they move together yeah after collision they move together stick together yeah okay uh how should i draw it so this is the uh this is the first car this is the second car uh, mass one uh, mass two okay uh after what they stick together one and two they stick together uh, they move together with the same velocity. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, v, yeah, uh, v. So uh, yeah, this is uh, moving with initial velocity u one. Okay, you see here is uh, it didn't say what direction. It just say travel with this velocity. So we just assume it moving to the right because it's positive value. Yeah, positive value. We just assume it moving to the right. Uh, and this is stationary u. U2 is stationary, uh, U2 uh, is uh, zero, okay. Ah, uh, we need to change the kilometer per hour into uh, SI unit first, okay. Let us change uh, U, the U1, U1. U1 equal to uh, 90 kilometer per hour. So, uh, change it to SI unit, 90 uh, kilo, it become uh, exponent 3. Kilo, uh, I mean, you just write it into a fraction form. First, you must write it into a fraction form. Okay, 90 km per 1 hour. So, 90 kilo, kilo is uh, exponent 3. Um, Alright, meter. So, 1 hour is, uh, uh, you know, 1 hour is uh, 60 times 60 second. You understand? Uh, you understand? 1 hour is 60 times 60 second. So, it's 3,600 second. Okay, divide it. Uh, what do we get? Okay, so I get uh, 25. 25 meter per second. Okay, now already in SI unit. So already in SI unit, uh, we just write over here. Maybe we just write over here. 25 meter per second. Okay, so now, um, okay. So what do we do now? Uh, we want to find the final velocity V. The common velocity they move together. Um, Okay, uh, this is actually yeah uh, like this this case uh, perfectly inelastic yeah uh, so you see this is called perfectly inelastic they stick together traveling together with common velocity like this car is it after collision <laughs> being jump to the top uh, so uh, this is perfectly inelastic actually they lost the most kinetic energy if compared to the normal inelastic the normal inelastic uh, maybe it just lost. 
maybe be this one comparison maybe this one just lost um uh, maybe just lost 100 joule uh, maybe but this one it lost the most maybe it lost 500 joule okay it lost the maximum kinetic energy compared to the one in elastic inelastic the perfectly inelastic they lost the most kinetic energy yeah they lost the most kinetic energy okay that uh let's stick together so this is a kind of uh perfectly perfectly uh inelastic collision i have a, i created an animation to show this also yeah you check out the animation uh, about this perfectly in uh, about these two type of collision uh, perfectly in elast perfectly elastic in elastic and perfectly in elastic collisions uh, i have created an e animation to show you uh, please check at the concept videos i did put it there uh, the animation okay so okay so this is uh, uh we want to find the common velocity uh, no matter it is uh, elastic or inelastic the total momentum is always conserved yeah the total momentum is always conserved so we can use the conservation of uh, conservation of momentum yeah so we can use the conservation of momentum although it is inelastic the momentum is still conserved so total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum uh, from here we can find the common velocity so how to do it yeah so it's uh, m1 u1 this is only one component it didn't give any angles yeah you see no angle so this is only one dimension okay uh, no angle means uh, only one dimension or one one components only have one components yeah? no angles only one dimension one component later you i you will uh, have questions with uh, with angles with two dimensions okay okay this one only one dimension so it's easy so m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to and they stick together so it's m1 plus m2 v they have share the same common they share the common velocity yeah? same velocity so okay uh, all in SI unit ready so M1 yeah just put in the value plug in the value 3000 uh, U1 is uh, don't put the kilometer per hour use the one change to SI unit ready uh, 25 don't use 90 yeah put 25 okay and then uh, the second card is stationary you see that Station, stationary so this is zero yeah because uh, U2 is zero so you get zero there yeah so this is zero and then uh this is um uh three thousand plus uh two thousand kilogram which uh, find the final velocity so what's the final velocity okay so i get uh it is a uh, positive value positive value means both of them are moving to the right positive 15 meter per second okay so you need to write the direction also huh? because remember velocity is a vector vector you need to give two things give magnitude and also direction in words okay so you need to mention direction to the right because we get a positive value positive value so correct lah uh, the assumption both of them moving to the right because uh, we get a positive velocity we get a positive sign for the velocity so it's the, both of them are moving to the right now the second question is find the impulse on the first car impulse of the first car so impulse is the symbol j uh, how to find the impulse okay how to find impulse what is actually impulse again what is impulse again? Symbol J is the change of momentum. Change of momentum. Uh, impulse is the change of momentum. So J impulse is the change of momentum. Uh, now he want the impulse on first car. Uh, on first car. So he want the impulse on on uh, first car. Okay. So we need to find the change of momentum on first car. Understand? We need to find the change of momentum of first car. That means um, 
uh, the impulse on first car means the change of momentum on first car so okay change, uh, impulse is the change of momentum so it is a uh, final momentum minus the initial momentum huh? initial momentum so whose momentum we going to use is, is it the change of momentum in, on second car do we uh, consider the second car no we want the impulse on first car means the change of momentum on first car so these two these two we need to find the final momentum of the first car uh, the initial momentum of first car understand uh, then we minus uh, so let's find out what's the final momentum of first car okay so um final momentum is mv m uh, then mu uh, mu uh, so we can also factorize uh, this is a uh, m v minus u okay remember all these uh all these are the mass of first car mass of first car okay because we want the the uh, impulse on first car yeah? so mass of first car is uh this one mass one uh, which is three thousand uh, uh three this is three thousand kilogram so uh, this one also mass using the mass one understand mass one uh, the final velocity also uh, the common velocity minus initial velocity also the velocity for car one huh? velocity for car one velocity for car one uh, mass for car one okay so now uh, let's find out uh, the mass one just now the mass one is um, uh, 3000 uh, 3000 just put in 3000 there 3000 and then final velocity is the common velocity the traveling together 15 uh, just put 15 just put 15 and then what's the initial velocity what's the initial velocity uh, initial velocity is uh, uh, initial velocity is 25 uh, 25 you see use the velocity of car 1 uh, uh, 25 so put in 25 okay so let's calculate okay i get this answer i got negative value negative um uh, three exponent uh thirty thousand which is three exponent four uh, what's the unit for uh impulse uh, it has the same unit as it has the same unit as uh momentum has the same unit as momentum in the same so the unit is a uh, kilogram meter per second uh, yeah because uh, momentum is mass time velocity uh, mass velocity mass is kilogram velocity is meter per second so momentum is kilogram kilogram meter per second so impulse also kilogram meter per second uh, or you can also use the uh, unit newton second because we know that impulse also force time time yeah is newton second so you have two units here so ah uh, you uh, again this impulse impulse is a vector yeah vector uh, impulse is a uh, vector if vector you need to give direction also you need to give direction so you must write direction to the left why to the left because it is negative sign ah yeah uh, remember that vector in, uh, talking about impulse impulse is a vector vector you need to give direction uh, you need to give direction so you must you must uh, you don't just give the answer only you must also uh, answer unit must give unit uh, important thing vector and you need like impulse vector you need to give direction also uh, if you don't give direction then you lose marks okay okay so that's correct so is the answer correct let's check yes negative thirty thousand uh, which is negative three exponent four that's correct kilogram meter per second uh unit same unit with momentum okay good uh negative uh, got negative is it got, got negative yes got negative yeah and then velocity v just now uh 15 meter per second 15 meter per second yes that's correct yeah direction is to the right okay Okay, so that's it for these questions.